Good evening, I'm Valerie Pritchard. I'm Melissa Richard. so glad you're with us tonight. Pennsylvanians love their high school sports, but why has the organization that oversees them resisted abiding by transparency laws? That question, the center of a lawsuit that the Pennsylvania Supreme Court has now settled. Good government advocates are cheering, the PIAA not so much. Dennis Owens reports. State champions will be crowned on the court next month, but the PIAA, which oversees high school athletics, lost in court. And I just sent PIAA a communication saying, I'm giving you 30 days to hand over the records. Simon Campbell submitted a right to know request to the PIAA more than three years ago, seeking financial records and other documents. It refused, arguing it's a nonprofit, not a state agency, and therefore exempt from the law. But in a 29-page ruling, the state Supreme Court said it is a Commonwealth entity. It is not exempt. So the more that we get case law on our side, and the more that we get transparency, we all benefit. So am I a pest? I hope so. It's the job of citizens to be a pest to government. PIAA Executive Director Bob Lombardi said he'll comply, but is confused, saying if they want us to be a state agency, then fund us like a state agency and let us be in the retirement system and get the benefits like a state agency. The PIAA does not get state tax dollars. It's funded by dues paying middle and high schools and event ticket sales. Oh, please, let's find out what they're doing with all the money before we go down the path of how they need more of it. They have not posted a single contract in 15 years. State Treasurer Stacy Garrity is also frustrated that the PIAA is not posting contracts more than $5,000 on its public e-library as all state agencies are required. Contracts like deals to host state finals, broadcast rights, and sponsorships. They've been pretty difficult to deal with and they resisted at every turn. So you know what, now uh, they're gonna have to be transparent. Lombardi argues if everybody knows contract specifics, it will be tougher for him to get the best deal. Well, that seems kind of crazy because they are a monopoly, a monopoly after all. Lombardi tells me it's still reviewing the ruling, but he said we will comply. We'll follow the law, he said. We always do. At PIAA headquarters, I'm Dennis Owens.